Welcome guys in our SQL Server Reporting Services. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a column based drill down report. Suppose that you have to create a report based on regional wise, regional wise sales performance report where you are going to <coughs> show the sales performance for a country in a specific year. So you can create a column based drill down reports so here now we have a data like this uh, in this data you can see we have a country name sales years sales category subcategory and region so i have just copied this query and go to my report builder here I have already a blank report and I have added a data set for uh, this report and uh, now you can see the query in this data set now I am just paste this query over here and click on ok button now I have to add a tablix to my report like this now adding a tablet to my report i am going to property in the property for tablix uh, i am going to set the data set name that is ts sales okay now i need a group so in the detail i am going to add a group that is parent group and saying that category okay now in category I am going to remove details ok ok now I am going to add subcategory add child group that is my subcategory ok now if I am going to preview this report you can see this is the preview of my report now I have to set the toggle so in the report what I am going to do in the subcat just go to the group properties and say in the visibility hide and display that is my category ok now going to preview so our column drill down has been created row drill down has been created now we have to create column drill down ok so I am just going to column section and right click on it and add group saying as a parent group in a column group and choose sales year ok after that in the sales year in column group I am just right click on it add group as a child group and that is my country name ok in the country name section right click on it go to the group property and in visibility hide it and saying that sales year ok in the now here we are going to say total sales that is my total sales ok now what I am going to do here in the country name uh, in the column group add total choose after ok now if I am going to 
now we have to add total sales in a, in years so here we are going to topmost column group that is sales year right click on it and choose add group after so now i have to remove this extra column and for this column what i am going to say i am going to merge it and saying grand total grand total sales and i am going to alignment it as a central in dollars okay total sales so here sales in dollars now we are going to preview this report now you can see now we are going to provide some formatting to our report so first of all we are going to merge this column and two corners and saying yearly yearly white is the yearly country sales performance okay and provide some formatting like we are going to change the font size nine and we are going to merge this column also and change the font size to nine and now we are providing some color to it that is okay and font color should be white for the same the background color should be the same but font size should be white plus bold now so for the same what we are going to do we are going to change the font color gray okay and should be bold mm. background color should be this and font color should be black okay now we are going to just preview this report and change the border color for the this and the font color the border color should be this now we are going to preview of this report now you can see this is the sales now you can see that uh, column are able to tilt down now you can see the sales for uh, for the year 2015 india china india and their total sales okay now what we are going we are going to design preview in the category section and just right click on it and add after and saying grand total merge this and saying grand total total and change the background color also and preview of this report so you can see it is very easy to 
now you can see that it is very easy to apply drill on a column so here we have drills on column as well as drill on rows so here you can see there are some blank records so we have to remove blank to zero so what we are going to do here first of all uh, we are going to change the format uh, for this we are going to text box property and then it should be number and it should be currency so we are going to remove decimals okay and just go to the property of this text box and just copy this and apply this format to each column for the same grand totals so we have applied the same format now in the country name group right click on this uh, text box and go to the expression in the expression what we are going to do we are saying that if is sum if nothing is nothing if it has no value that means blank so we are using nothing then it should be zero as it should be sum of total sales okay just copy this control c and click on okay button now we are going to preview of this report again now in the preview you can see the sales in a year for a particular country and the uh, value you can see okay for a particular category and subcategory here we are going to apply the same format for control v in the expression i am going to text box property and in the expression window just copy this control c okay and go to the dashboard property for this and apply the same logic over here control v and click on ok button now i am going to preview this report again so here we are say this is the row drill so these are the zero values if there is no value that, that means blank and this is the column drill and you can see the value for a specific country and the sales for this country in a specific year so guys you can see it is very easy to apply column drill on your report with the within some very basic steps so guys please subscribe my youtube channel to learn more on ssrs ssis sql server data warehouse azure data warehouse data modeling talent pentaho and we are coming with more videos on python r tableau and power bi thank you for watching us